Hello, hello, hi, hi, welcome, welcome to Barebones Kitchen. I am your culinary coach, Harmony. Cheers! Tonight I'm drinking Kona Big Wave. Nick, this is your fault. Nicolata, our kitchenette, she she fed me a couple of these last weekend, and I just decided that this is what I wanted to drink tonight. Even though I have more Corona in my fridge, I just decided this is what I was going to drink. So cheers to you all. Liquid Aloha, you guys. Liquid Aloha. And it's delicious. All right. So welcome, kitchenettes, kitchen littles, and kitchen nuggets. If you need some inspiration in your kitchen because you have bare essentials or bare knowledge, please allow me to bring that to you because that is what I do here in Beer Bones Kitchen. Beer Bones Kitchen, Bare Bones Kitchen. Well, pretty much the same thing. All right. All right. All right. I get it. Okay, so tonight I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna, I busted this little guy out of my freezer because this is very cheap. Okay, not very cheap. Very inexpensive. Choose your words carefully. Um, this costs right around the $2 range, maybe a little bit more, um, where I am at, and it's good. I've, I've made a few things with this, but this is kind of uncharted territory for me, you guys, so... It's chorizo, chorizo, chorizo. So, I have over here, my pan is super, super duper hot, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start here with what I have. And do a little bit of oil, not very much, not very much, because I don't want everything to be greasy. Okay, so I have some amazing little asparagus that one of my drivers is, he has a fruit stand in, in the the summertime, so he brought us all some delicious little asparagus, and they are very tiny, very tiny, so they're going to be very um, tender. They're going to be tender. Hi, Nick. How are you? Going to be very tender. That's all you have to do is just bend it. That's going to tell you where the woody parts are at, and I have a whole little bundle here that I'm going to, I'm just going to chop it in half, okay, so I get some some of the tops and some of the bottoms. Man, being in a kitchen is just, it just takes your mind to dirty places. That's all I can say. All right, so we're gonna start off with that. I was gonna put some onions in here, but I don't really feel like doing that. And then I have a Roma tomato. I actually have like a tomato and a half, okay? Hey, Wheeler. You almost missed it. That would have been no good. Tomato and a half. I would have forgiven you, just so you know. Chorico here. I don't know what that is. See? Uncharted territory. I don't know what that is. And I do have my pasta over here. It's all ready to rock and roll. I picked any pasta. Pick whatever pasta you want, you guys. Because y'all know, we don't judge around here. All right, I'm just going to cut this bad boy in half. Ooh, ooh. Be careful taking your finger down your knife like that, all right? So again, very uncharted territory for me. I have made this a few times. I mean, I've made chorizo a few times. I'm not, I'm not, I am not the expert in this, okay? It's Portuguese, oh, I bet I would like that. I love some Portuguese sausage. Actually, that's the family win. That's every, everybody in my family loves that. And I do have a few little cloves of garlic over here, but I'm not going to put them in just yet because I don't want them to burn. Garlic can burn really easily and then it gives you like a bitter, bitter beer face. We don't want that. We don't want that. So how are you all doing? 
Are you having a, a great start to your week? I know it's your midweek check-in today, huh, Wheeler? I do love the good midweek check-in. All right. This is just looking like a sloppy mess right now, but you know what? I'm okay with it. I don't mind a little sloppy mess every once in a while. Almost the same thing as chorizo, but better. Oh, I wonder if I can get that on the West Coast. I'll have to look. I will have to, to search. All right. So again, I referenced the amazing Google because I'm out of my element. I'm out of my element a little bit. Week is going by quick. Massachusetts, Rhode Island thing. Okay, all right, fine. I mean, I suppose that kind of makes sense. Um, from the Google searches, it takes about 10 minutes to cook chorizo to where it's nice and crumbly. I don't know, I'm just gonna roll with it because you guys, again, out of my element. I, 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 I don't know, I, I, I don't know. I just don't know, okay? I buy these and I stick them in my freezer for that, oh crap, I don't know what to make meal. And I just always end up coming up with something, but I never know if it's right because I don't know how to cook chorizo, but it's okay because I'm just gonna roll with it again. Hey men, how are you? Um, so again, in my pan, I put a little bit of oil. I got a little bit of asparagus. Obviously you can forego that if that's your wish. Um, if you would like to add onions, please do so. If you want to spice it up some more, Nick, Nick, I'm talking to you. Add that jalapeno in there if that's what your jam is. Um, I have some, I have one and a half Roma tomatoes. I just like sliced them and chunked them because Zane's going to probably already throw a fit that I put tomatoes in it in the first place. But the asparagus is going to soften that blow. Plus, I have some spinach over there. He may or may not go for that. I don't know. That's, you know, that's that's the way it rolls in my house. Sometimes I'm a winner. Sometimes I'm not. And that's okay. Because it's kind of life, right? Sometimes we're winners and sometimes we're not. Sometimes we're ahead of the game and sometimes we're just rolling with the punches. The hot is hot, 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 huh? All right. Well... Maybe I'm going to have to have you send me some of that so I know how to cook it. <laughs> it's good to have people that are all over the country that watch you. Did you guys have a good weekend? I don't think I talked about the weekend on uh, Monday. Maybe I did a little bit. It was good times for me. Did the arts walk for a little bit. Nick, I went and saw Emily. Took my mom down there. That was an interesting day. I, I usually have a very good time with my mom. She, she treated herself and bought herself some really fun, flowery uh, overalls, so that was a good time. Very good time. All right, so while this is doing its thing, I'm just gonna let it do its thing for a minute. It was starting to stick, so I turned it down a little bit. We're going to like a, a, a medium, a medium situation, okay? Last weekend I went to a hit and miss show. Old engines, oh, ended up buying a vintage thing of lawn darts. Oh, I saw that, I totally saw that you bought lawn darts. I was like, oh shit. All right, so I got my Parmesan, guys, and my heavy whipping cream, okay? We're gonna obviously make some sort of like Alfredo-esque situation here. That's what, that's eventually, it's it's gonna end up like a, an Alfredo sort of situation. But it's gonna be a little bit spicy because we got the chorizo. It's not, I don't think it's extremely spicy, but you know, it is what it is. Oh, Nick, you never decide to be lazy. I'm so proud of you. Yay, for being lazy every now and again. I don't know how I don't know how we can be friends when I definitely am the one to be lazy. <laughs> yeah. I really was hoping that this uh, asparagus was going to cook in here, and I think it's doing a good job. It's doing a good job, you guys. Kind of flatten this out a little bit. 
try to get it a little bit crumbly so it's hopefully not so mushy. But I don't think the tomatoes are going to do it any justice. All right, what else do we got going on? Hi, Steph, how are you? I hope that you're doing well. Hello, Graham, how are you? To tax week. Good for you. I'm glad that you took time out. Tomorrow's a car show. Oh, stuffed jalapenos and ribs. Oh, good stuff. That's the good stuff. Are you doing like the armadillo egg jalapenos? Or are you just doing the basic jalapenos? Because the armadillo egg ones are actually very good. They're very good. That's all I have to say about that. I'm so glad you guys showed up tonight. Thank you everybody for showing up. Freaking cheers. Cheers for you guys showing up. I noticed that you're doing a lot better because you picked up your work phone and you sent everybody a message today. <laughs> Miss Steph decided that she was going to go on an adventure and her adventure turned into a broken leg. So we're just going to leave it at that. And it, it sucks for me because I'm selfish. And um, yeah, yeah. You did send me pics of your, of your jalapenos. Yes, you did. And they looked freaking delicious. Absolutely delicious. I do remember that. I am very well, Graham. I am very well. Hope it's going to taste nice. Uh, I hope. That's, I mean, that's always the goal, right? You, you make food and hope people actually enjoy it. Um, although I live with the biggest credit, my 17-year-old. <laughs> so, is what it is at some point. All right, I'm going to throw this garlic in here now, y'all. Still a little, it's it's still not very like, I don't know. It's it's still a little mushy, but it's okay. I'm just gonna roll with it because what I screw up now, I'm gonna learn from later, like the story of my life, right? Story of my life. Just looks like a big damn mushy mess to me though. This is this is exactly why I don't cook with chorizo. Exactly. Exactly why. Truth. Wait, which truth? There's a leg. So you gotta you gotta help me. <laughs> Your adventure time stuff, is that what you're talking about? Gosh, I miss you so much. It's so difficult to be at work when when uh your work BFF is gone. And then somebody said something earlier today, I think it was Will, about how you have vacation coming up. And I thought, oh, I wonder where she was going. That's really lame. Now her ass is going to the couch. Going to the couch. Or the chair. I mean, whatever. Not that kind of chair. We're not, we're not talking about that kind of chair. No green mile chair. We're not, we're not going there. That's not what we're talking about. All right, I'm just gonna move on because we've been we've been doing this. We've been talking for a while, so it's not extremely crumbly. But I'm just gonna roll with it. We're gonna go with our penny pasta in this pan. Maybe it'll it'll uh, solidify a little bit more as I'm mixing it. Maybe it won't. You know what? It'll probably taste good either way. So just, just do it. Just do it. Oh, I guess I should be careful saying things like that. I might get sued or something. Don't want to roll with that. That's the last thing I need right now. The absolute last thing, you guys. I got asked about my, uh, my car this morning and it, you know, it's been sitting in front of my apartment for I don't even know how long now. And it just makes me sad. Every time I look at it, it makes me sad. Every time I see the same car on the road, it makes me sad. And I just, I just, you know, I'm grateful to have a vehicle that's running that, that is a, a, a little kick in the pants. Like, it's, it's a pretty speedy little car, which I love. Um, probably not the best for me because... 
I've only had one ticket in my lifetime, so that's not terrible. But I sure hate paying for a car that I get to look at, and that's it. That's the bottom line. Like, I just, I really am not a fan of paying for a car that I only get to look at and don't even get to drive. And when I back up, because my, my little speedy car doesn't have a backup cam, which I probably need because I think I've run into our work building more than once. <laughs> That's uh, good stuff. All right. Well, that's not terrible. That's not terrible. Look at that. Not terrible. We're getting there. We're getting there. It's like a, a delicious hamburger helper minus the hamburger. But you could totally use hamburger if that was your jam. Add mashed potatoes. Omelets. Okay. All right. Add a little bit of this cheese just to start. And then some of this cream. Welcome to my world. Here's the difference though, Wheeler, is uh, you actually work on cars, okay, friend? I don't work on cars. Like, I know where the essentials go. The gas in the windshield fluid, okay? That's where, I, that's, that's where I draw the line. Just kidding, I also check my oil sometimes. Or the car tells me it needs it. I'm not gonna lie. I'm terrible at that. I actually have blown up like two cars because of that. You'd think I'd learn, but I guess I just don't. I just don't. I don't learn. Ooh, look at that. I'm digging that. Heck yeah. Looking delicious and creamy. And if it starts to get too thick on you guys, you can either Add a little bit more of your heavy whipping cream, which is still going to thicken up, or you can add some of your pasta water. So when I bring things like this to work for lunch, I usually will throw a bunch of cream in the bottom of the container. Steph, you've probably been a victim of this more than once. Um, so that way I can heat up the whole thing and it, it like becomes not a big clump of stuff. So I just will add a little bit of the cream in my to-go bowl, but that means you have to heat up the whole bowl. And if I'm the only one eating it, there's probably a lot left over. Ooh, that looks delicious. I'm totally down. Look at that, you guys. Mm, and I barely even added any cheese to it. All right, we're gonna throw in some of this spinach because we want that to be wilty. And it's good for you. It has it has a uh, vitamin C and vitamin A and vitamin K and foliate and manganese. So get you some spinach. Get you some. And we can put this whole bag in here, and it's going to come out to like a quarter of a cup anyway. So yeah. that worked in a little bit. I am going to add a little bit more of this cream. And if you want to do half and half, you can absolutely do that. Your sauce is going to be a little bit thinner. Not a huge deal, especially if you're reducing it down. All right. Oh, I am drinking. I am drinking. This is my kitchenette Nicole's fault. Uh, Kona Big Wave. It is uh, liquid aloha. Liquid aloha. That's what I'm drinking. Yep. Mm -hmm. Miss your food for lunch. Guess don't go on the windshield washer. Yeah, well, hopefully not. But if I'm driving, you never know. I'm, I'm just throwing it out there. I am like a, a mechanic's nightmare and dream. Yeah. <laughs> I know where they all go. It's like the 710 cap, right? Isn't that where the, the windshield fluid goes? The 710 cap? You know I'm just pulling your chain. I just can't figure out where the blinker fluid goes. That's, that's my biggest problem. Can't figure out where the blinker fluid goes. All right, ooh, this is looking delicious. 
I'm going to add a little bit more of this cheese. Toes. And then I'm going to be done. I've wasted like 20 minutes of your guys' time, so. And just go until your salt feels good. Just know the more you add, the stringier it's going to get, and then it's going to be all kind of like wonky and stuff, so. Especially if you're chilling it and reheating it. That's why you add the heavy cream in your to-go bowl so that when you heat it all up, it all comes out to a delicious and amazing pot of deliciousness, okay? Pot of deliciousness. That's where we're at. And we do have the asparagus in there, but you can't see it anymore because now it's just being drowned by the, uh, by the spinach. And it's great. Great beer, it is a good beer. It is, very good. It's really good when you mix it half and half with the uh, uh, mango cart. Yeah. Very good. I was drinking those the other day. So on Monday. Yep. Delicious. Delicious. And they were on sale today. That's another reason why I bought them because they were on sale. $19.99, Nick. Safeway. Just throwing it out there. I know we had this discussion last weekend, but just throwing it out there. All right. That is what I have for you tonight. I'm going to put some of this in a bowl and take a picture for you guys. Is that is that okay? Just kidding. I don't need your damn permission. I'm going to do it anyways. All right, that is what I have. I will be uploading YouTube videos this weekend, but I also have Suck It Up Saturday, plus a work meeting. And, 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 okay guys, it'll probably be Sunday when I upload everything, but I am gonna get caught up on YouTube. If you haven't followed yet, do that, because I would appreciate it very much. If you have followed, share that shit. Just share it, because you just never know. You never know what kind of trolls I'm going to get on YouTube, and those those ones really shot through the heart, right? Shot through the heart. And speaking of shot through the heart, if you think you need a Bare Bones Kitchen Tea, let me know. Let me know. I have a few sizes left. Um, I'm not sure that I'll be doing more of these because I've been holding on to them for a very long time. But it will be good, and it will be fine. And, and I also broke my Bare Bones Kitchen mug, so I'm going to have to have a new one of those as well. All right, y'all. Thank you for showing up. Y'all keep showing up, and so do I. I will see you all on Saturday for Suck It Up Saturday. Have a good evening.